So, for this experiment, what we're going to need is we're going to need the boss, the clamp, the stand, a meter ruler, and a spring that I've just attached onto the clamp. Also, what we're going to need is 100 gram masses. Okay, so this on its own is 100 grams. This, these, each one of these are 100 grams, and this one, they're all 100 grams. We're going to go up to a maximum of 800 grams. Okay, and so let me explain how to do this experiment. So initially the question is, well, what's the point of this experiment? Why are we doing it? And we're doing it because of this little thing here. This is a spring. And what we want to find out is what the relationship, if there's any at all, between adding weight to the spring and how much it's going to extend by, so how stretchy it's going to become. Now, there's a point at which if you add too much weight, the spring will not be springy anymore. So if you look at this, if I kind of hold that, let it go, it'll go back to its original shape. However, if I pull it hard enough and long enough, uh, it will go past its elastic limit. So in other words, it will not become springy anymore and it won't go back to its original shape. So. Number one, we don't want to go past the elastic limit because then we'll have one spring less. And number two is we want to see what's the relationship between the amount of weight we add and the amount it stretches, the extension. So, how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to do this by number one, having a look at what the reading is at the bottom of the spring here. So, you need to go to eye level again and have a look so with this one i'm looking at eye level it is 530 millimeters so that 530 millimeters i say milliliters all oh my days it's 530 millimeters uh which is the same thing 53 centimeters so that position there is my zero okay so that's where i'm starting from that's my zero then what you're going to do is you're going to add your 100 gram mass okay and you're going to see how much it extends by so if my zero was 530 right and let me just zoom in and it's now gone to 500 and uh so i'm looking at eye level it's now gone to 556 right so it's gone to 556 uh, you need to write down what it went to and then write down the extension which is the difference between the two okay i'm going to show you what the table looks like this is what your table will look like you've got your mass in grams that you're adding to the spring you've got your weight and now to calculate weight i'll show you how to do that in a in a bit the weight is basically the mass multiplied by gravity on earth uh, which rounded up is 10 newtons per kilogram now weight is measured in newtons so that's why i got the end there and the extension how much the spring extended by in centimeters now let me show you how to work out the weight of the mass okay so we're going to convert this mass into a weight in newtons so the basic calculation is uh, you multiply your mass by gravity so that's 100 grams multiplied by 10 newtons per kilogram however mass needs to be in kilograms so we're going to take that mass of 100 grams and divide it by a thousand to make it into kilograms 0.1 kilograms then what we're going to do is now we can multiply the mass by gravity because we've got our mass in kilograms so 0.1 kilograms multiplied by 10 newtons per kilogram gives us 10 newtons so that's 10 newtons the next 200 if you do the same calculation you'll find out that 200 grams is the same as 20 newtons so you can only guess what 300 grams is equal to that's right 30 newtons so anyway, what I've done is I placed zero mass on it first. There was zero weight and the extension was zero. It didn't move anywhere. Now, what's important is to make a note of your starting uh, point. So my starting point was 530 millimeters. That's where I started from. That's where I'm going to measure the extension from. That is my zero point. And it'll make sense why you need to do that in a bit. So at zero mass, there was no extension. My starting point was 530 millimeters. There was no extension. At 100 grams, that's 10 newtons, it extended by 2.6 centimeters. 
Now let me show you the calculations for that. So my extension is how much it extended by. So it went to 556 millimeters, but it started from 530 millimeters. So what's the difference between the two? How much did it extend by? Well, it's 556, take away 530, which gives me 26 millimeters. And if I divide it by 10, that'll give me 2.6 centimeters, which is where that 2.6 centimeters came from. So then I added another 100 grams to make it 20 newtons. Uh, and then it extended by 6.5 centimeters. Let's show the calculation. So when I added the 200 grams, well, I added another 100 to make it 200, right? It went to 500, the spring extended by two 595 millimeters. That's where it stopped to. That's where I read from the bottom of the spring. Now, it started, my original, this is why it's important to have, make a note of this, my original point was 530. So to work out how much it extended by from the original, it's 595 millimeters, take with 530 millimeters, which is 65 millimeters. To get it into centimeters, you just divide the millimeters by 10. And that's it. So what you're eventually going to do with this is you're going to plot a graph. Let me show you what the graph will look like. Right, so what you're going to be plotting is a graph of force, and force and weight is the same thing, guys. So force is measured in newtons against extension. So how much it extended by. So you take your results from your table and you plot it. Uh, 0 to 80, obviously I've only gone up to 60, but you're going to go up to 80, um, and my extension. You plot the points and you draw a line of best fit. Then what you can do from this is this gradient here, this gradient, is equal to the spring constant. So it's the spring constant. So the spring constant is equal to the force divided by the extension, and every single spring has its own spring constant. So to work out the spring constant, we take the force, so in this case I've just randomly taken 30 newtons, you go up to the gradient line and you see where it crosses on the extension. So I've made it up and said it's 10 centimeters. So you put a spring constant equals um, 30 newtons divided by 10 centimeters, which will give you a spring constant of 3 newtons per meter. And that's it. Then you can use that another equation to work out loads of things. Just, and just to briefly touch on that other equation, it's elastic potential energy, which you guys should write out in full. I've just been a bit lazy. Elastic potential energy equals 0.5 times your spring constant times your extension squared. Don't forget, it's not extension, it's extension squared. So if you know two of the variables, you can work out the third.